In the infinite ways that I have lost faith in humanity as a whole, the internet seems to remind me that we are doomed as a species. I mean, whatever happened to natural selection? Unfortunately for the few of us who are sane, we have to endure the troubles of the weirdos of the world. Enter the adult baby. Get out your blankies and put on your adult diapers cause you're about to lose your shit. What is up people, I'm Neriku aka The Two Inch Punisher and I'm back at it again with a daily dose of man-child dysphoria. For all you weirdos out there, today we are taking an inside look at the world of adult babies. What the fuck is an adult baby? Well, I'm glad you asked Timmy. Wikipedia defines an adult baby as the following. Paraphilic infanticism, also known as autonepophilia? Autonepophilia? An adult baby syndrome is a sexual fetish that involves the role playing and regression to an infant like state. Behaviors may include drinking from a bottle or wearing diapers. Individuals may engage in gentle and nurturing experiences. An adult who only engages in infantilistic, in infantilistic play is also known as an adult baby or be attracted to mesochistic or coercive punishing or humiliation experiences. Diaper fetishism involves diaper lovers wearing diapers for sexual or erotic reasons, but may not involve infant-like behavior. Individuals experience both of these things are referred to as adult baby slash diaper lovers, or AB slash DL, which sounds like something that you should probably not text your girlfriend ever. When wearing, the, when wearing these diapers, infantilists may urinate or defecate in them. So yeah, I bet I already know what you guys are going to say next here. That you don't want to know that or that you didn't need to know that. Well, my response to you is that you are indeed welcome. Now we can all suffer together. Judging by this wiki article, there's a lot more information about adult babies as well. So if you ever get bored, I suggest either watching more of my videos or typing in adult babies into a quick Google search. Spoiler alert, that search has over 10 million results. See, adult babies or AB for short is not uncommon as you think. In fact, these fuckers in the adult baby community are gaining power. They're growing stronger as we speak. They are becoming a bigger community, especially here within Western society. To prove it, let's take a quick look at Facebook. There are pages and groups here that you can join. I see Adult Baby Life, Adult Baby, it's a community with 685 likes. Jeez, that's more subscribers than I have. Adult Babies, which is a community with 3.1 thousand likes. Wearing diapers and plastic pants. What the heck is going on there? There's groups, but those I don't think those have anything to do with adult babies. If you scroll down, you can see videos. Life is an adult baby. A woman living as an adult baby. Baby or adult, I have no idea if that has to do with adult baby. If adults were treated like babies. Oh my gosh. And articles on adult babyism so maybe I'll, I'll cover some of those in a later video but there are groups out there if you want to join or if you like doing this shit i'm not trying to be mean or anything but why would you want to meet other people who like to shit in their pants when you think about it this is even disgusting or weirder when there's a 40 year old man who's doing it let me explain babies poop their pants we all know this we all understand that but baby poop is practically harmless and let me explain before you guys go crazy the poop is made up of things like baby food, formula, booby milk. So basically, it's the leftovers of booby milk. Not too bad, right? When you think about it. But if you really, really consider it, it's still kind of nasty. It's poop. I mean, it smells. It's not, it's not good. But babies don't know any better. They can't really help it. If you consider that ABs or adult babies eat adult food, like eggs, pizza, tuna salad, you name it, and their diet consists of grown man food, as a result, they take grown man shits. Could you just imagine that for just a quick second, the smell of those shits? If he or she just had Taco Bell? Why, why would you want to join a community with these people? Why would you want to interact with these people? Why would you want to meet people who are like you if this is what you like? Why, if that's what you're into, why would you want to do that? These are uh, communities of people who eat real adult food, work a real adult job, and possibly have a real adult spouse, and take real adult sized shits. Why would you possibly want to be around them and have a little pretend play date? It's 
kind of like LARPing, but instead of dressing as a level 120 wizard, you wear 120 pound Tommy Pickles from Rugrats in a playpen sitting on an electric screwdriver. I'm telling you, cosplaying as a real life baby fin is one thing, but actually getting together with a flock of these people is something entirely different. This is some next level stuff out here, guys. I mean, the world is opening up thanks to the internet. Some things are made for the better and for the good and the betterment of mankind, like, I don't know, PayPal, Skype, email. But the majority of the internet is just used for porn and weirdos. This internet, there's something for everybody, right? You got some weird fetish, some weird thing you do? Look at how weird it just got in here, huh? <laughs> some of you are into this type of behavior. But if you like something weird, you like to, you're, if you're an adult, you like to dress up as a baby, there's a website for you. 30 years ago, if you like to dress up as a baby, nobody knew that. You did that in the privacy of your own home. If you ever came out of your house with a diaper on, your neighbor would go, look at this shit, call the FBI, get this shit out of the neighborhood, right? It was handled. But today, just throw it up in the Google. I like to dress up as a baby. <laughs> Next thing you know, they're at the Hilton on a Saturday with 863 people that like to do this shit. I guess you guys are wondering just how I even came across something like this. And I bet you're thinking that I was probably looking up some next level weird porn. Well, the truth of the matter is, is that I was just casually on Facebook and my girl sends me this video on a direct message. Oh yeah, uh, if you guys are interested, go ahead and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And I post things there, really funny stuff there sometimes. But yeah, back to the story. I was just casually on Facebook and I get this message containing this video. If you guys just take a look here. Okay guys, so this is my Facebook here. This is the video that I was sent by my girl. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look and I'm gonna be periodically pausing the video to make my comments or to say anything or so you guys can know my reaction if there is any. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. Yep, adult babies are a thing. And what the, oh wait, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Already, already, we have to stop. Already. What is this? What is this? Boy, what are you wearing? Like, okay, I can understand. Well, actually, I can't understand. But I'm wrapping my head around people just wanting to be babies in the first place, okay? Just wanting to be babies. But now I, I'm questioning what is going on with what you're... Why are you dressed as a little girl, too, on top of it? What is going on with that? I, I don't get it. Look, look, look at this guy. Oh my gosh, that is nightmare fuel right there, guys. That is absolute nightmare fuel. I, I'm, I would, I would lose it if, if. What if you saw something like that in, pu in public? What if you saw someone like that, like walk up to you? Like, what if he was trick or treating like that? Oh my gosh, oh, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. Yeah, boy, you are way too old. You are way, way too old. I don't get this. it up people oh my gosh of course of course he would you know, of course yep high chair it up man. you fly this he's put it on the refrigerator oh. <laughs> what what why does she sound like timmy turner from fairly god parents like like fairly odd parents like what why why does she sound like that and who thinks that this is like attractive at all like she has tattoos she has like a nose piercing what in her mind happened that she had to decide to go ahead and and, and you know i'm gonna go back to the good old days when i was a kid just like they were in rugrats let's go ahead and do that let's keep going guys i, I don't know how much more this i can take i'm literally losing brain cells for every second that i'm watching this. <laughs> a little bit did you guys see that mommy was in quotation marks like 
What does that mean? Did they hire someone to do this? You see that right there? It says being tucked into bed by mommy with the with the the quotes there saying, hmm, you know, maybe this isn't quite your mom, but hey, she's gonna have to make uh make do with what you can handle at this moment in time. Oh my, oh, I thought that was his stomach for a second there. I was gonna say, this guy is a lot fatter than what I thought, but it's it's just his leg, guys, don't worry. It's, it's only the size of a small elephant, it's not really a big deal. He's only at, you know, half manatee, half land manatee. It's hard to say exactly how many people enjoy this lifestyle. It's hard to say how many people enjoy this lifestyle. Well, you know, it is kind of hard to say, but I can give you a ballpark estimate based on the people who are liking the communities that we found on Facebook. So now if we can just tie this all together and find like a website or something for it. Wait, hold on. We have to find a website. Let's Google search. Adult baby. Yep, here we go. First search here. There's about 24 million results in 0.56 seconds. So, and look, oh my gosh. Adult baby nursery works highlight crib. Oh my gosh. $4,000. Oh, yeah, that's a small price to pay for me to become an adult baby. Let's go ahead and look at this website. What? Oh my screen cap is picking this up or hold on hold on are you guys hearing that it's playing music it's playing creepy music in the background look at this website it looked like it was built back i don't know html2 back in 1996 like what is going on with this so not only are they regressive in the head and thinking that they're babies but they're also regressive to time saying you know the internet doesn't what if you like this site make a donation uh uh no 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 um what kinds of people are enjoying this website it's got to be a lot of older people i'm i'm really thinking it because if you look at the design of this website it says thank you for stopping by and checking out babyland we hope that you see we hope that you liked what you see the site is best viewed with a a java capable browser what why do you have to tell me that personalized treasure store welcomes and thanks okay guys i'm gonna have to come back to this website at a different time where i think i can handle this you know let's stick to one thing at a time maybe i'll make a different video on me exploring this website just for you guys and i'll do it for you guys i'll do it for the likes i'll do it for the vine but i'm not doing it right now i can't i can't how to imp how to improvise an impromptu a baby adult baby diaper what what? Oh my gosh. How to take an adult baby's temperature? Uh-uh. Nope, 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 nope. I don't even know if this will be YouTube safe. So a, diff a different time, guys. A different time. Uh-uh. What? What? How to find a babysitter for an adult boy? An adult baby? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. How, how much would you even get paid to do that? How much would you even get paid? Nope, nope. Let's go back. Back to the video, guys. Because most people don't talk about it. Oh, well, no shit. No shit. People aren't going to just go talk about it. Who wants to... What, what, is, what is this thing doing? What, what... Bro. Bro. No. And if I do... That's something I would want to keep a secret. I wouldn't want to tell anyone about this. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Let's go back. Let's go back. We're going to have to see what the comment section is saying about this. Okay. And this is how we know how many people are actually talking about this. this it's got almost a quarter, I mean, almost a half million view, views here, a little over a quarter million views. Let's see what people are saying here. Maybe instead of a pacifier or a diaper, they should get a therapist or take a long vacation in a, lo in a loony bin. A very long vacation. I agree. Uh, Dennis Greener? I'm thinking it's Dennis because it looks like a picture of a man in your picture. Dennis. It'll, even though it says Denise. But whatever. Mark Hayden. This really isn't my business because I don't intend to do it. No one's being hurt. It's consensual. It's behind closed doors. 
I don't give a f yeah see Mark that's the problem here is that it's not behind closed doors anymore there's videos being made about it there's a website about it these people are coming out they're becoming bold okay as as we venture forth through through the land of the SJWs and when everything's accepted and people can be whatever they want and people can do whatever they want this is is getting out of control here this is getting out of hand man like this person is is happy like do i have to show you the guy again look look, look let's go he is happy to be uh, be uh on on camera okay he, these guys are getting bold he is not ashamed i mean as long as they aren't hurting anyone i'm fine with it jay adams no no, Jay Adams, they are hurting people. They hurt me, okay? They hurt me so much I had to make a video on this, okay? I had to tell the world that what I saw, okay? Th th this is why I had to tell you guys. The most toddlerish thing I ever do is wear onesies and watch TV all day and avoid possible responsibilities. No, that's just called laziness to avoid possible responsibilities. I get the onesie type thing every now and then, but yeah, you know, whatever. Is this something I understand? Not at all. I am a GNU bitch and throw a fit about this. Nope. Let people do their own thing. Geez, yeah, it's weird, but my personal standards, but by my personal standards at least, but what's weirder is being a total comment section douchebag about this when it affects your life in absolutely no way. What? No, no, it does affect us. It affects us all. These these people are voting. Are you, come on. These these people. Would you like an adult baby to, to cook food for you? Would you like an adult baby to like, I don't know, like, what if, what if, what if this person's a lawyer? What if this person's a teacher? It does affect, it affects all of us. It affects weirdos. Okay, these weirdos, man. Get, get, get them out of here. Come Oh my gosh, this neighbor would go, look at this shit, call the FBI, get this shit out of the neighborhood. Comment section is not helping. These people are just, are just as crazy. If you can pretend you're a different gender, then why not? Hey, you know, Paul knows what's up. Paul Waldrip, this guy knows exactly what's up. Thanks, Paul Wall. You are, you are the best, man. This is so weird and gross. People who don't have a daddy or toddler fetishes have some fucking problems that i don't want to know about i agree we don't need to know about it you know these people i think that every single person that's been in this video needs to be tracked down and needs to be put into a loony bin like like seriously you guys need to be held accountable for this i it's just another fetish so why is everyone getting upset about it what i find it amusing and there's nothing wrong with it what this is probably you're probably one of them zen rose zen Ro oh oh god do you guys see what I see? Zen Rose. Look at his picture. Zen Rose is a weeaboo. Of course he's okay with it. He's a weeaboo. What someone does behind closed doors is their business, not ours. So who cares if they're in that age play or not? You know, the thing is, the thing is, it's not, it's not behind closed doors anymore. These people are getting bold, like I said several times before. So hopefully this video makes its way over to you, Zen Rose. I know that I've also made a video probably on you and, and your people. And by your people, I mean weeaboos. So maybe eventually you guys will be able to hear this message. And if you guys understand what I'm saying, you guys understand what I'm getting at, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, and let everyone know about this, this video because I think that we need to get someone who's not agreeing with this. Look at these comment sections. These comments go on forever, guys. And I'm sure that there's a million other people out there who are, are just waiting to comment on this saying, oh, it's okay if it's behind closed doors. You know, these people are getting bold. These people are getting bold. So you know what? I I I th I think I think that's it. That's my reaction to this video so far. Let's go ahead and continue with the rest of the video. So yeah, that's the video. I knew right then and there I had to let you guys know it was up. Your boy Nerku had to bring you the latest in the cringe slash weirder department. And with that said, maybe you guys should go ahead and share this video. Keep your friends and family up to date with what's really going on in this world. And while you're at it, maybe you should go ahead and like and subscribe as well. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. Comment down below. What's your favorite diaper brand? Mine depends on how you feel. Get it? Depends. Oh well, fuck you too.
If you didn't like today's video, go ahead and give me a dislike, then comment down below so we all know that you are part of the Rights for Adult Babies movement as well. With that said, my name is Nerku and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Peace.